Hello GCC members, this is Bo Wicker with your tip of the week. Today's focus is speed. Uh, this time of year as the greens get faster at both golf courses, it is of utmost importance that you control the speed of your putts to avoid the dreaded three putt. Today I'm going to give you a simple drill that will help you improve your speed. First to set it up, we set three tees around the hole, the first two being hole high and the third directly behind the hole on the line of the putt. I'm going to set the tees about a putter's length away from the hole. It's roughly three feet. And these tees form a semicircle behind the hole. As you hit your putts, the idea is to have the ball either go in the hole or end up between the hole and the tees. So a putt with too much pace would finish outside of the semicircle, and a putt with not enough pace to go in will obviously end up short of the hole and short of the tees. We want to focus on being aggressive, having positive thoughts of making the punt. So in this drill, we do penalize shorts that end up short. Next, you'll pick out three distances to test yourself from. Uh, today, just for the purposes of filming, I've chosen 9, 15, and 21 uh, relatively short distances. Uh, but it's a good starting point for you, and you can work your way up to whatever you'd like, 20, 40, 60 feet, um, you know, if you really want to test yourself. It might take some time to get through those, but uh, the idea is to hit three consecutive putts from each distance and have those putts either go in the hole or finish, like we said, inside the circle. So those are the three putts from nine feet. Now we move to 15. I encourage you to actually go through your putting routine each time. So line up the letters. Take practice strokes. Whatever your routine is. And then execute the putt. All right, so we've passed the 15 foot test and now we go to 21. Now say you get to 21 feet, everything's going along nicely. But you hit a putt that comes up short. penalty is you have to start over at nine feet so you reset each time until you get three from nine three from 15 and three from 21 uh, the effect that this has is uh, similar to some basketball drills that you may have done uh, if you played basketball growing up where you have to make layups before you shoot your free throws you have to make free throws before you shoot your three pointers Eventually, you get to the point where you're making all your layups uh, and your free throws start to feel like layups did when you started. So, um, although you might get frustrated that you don't easily progress through all the distances, uh, the better way to view that is that it's an opportunity to 
make more nine footers and build your confidence from that distance. So try this drill, uh, improve your speed. If you ever need help setting it up, come see me at the Shannon Clear Golf Shop or any of the other teaching pros at Greenville Country Club. We're always here to help you out. Until next time, play good golf and swing to the finish.